Hey guys, what is going on? Mike here from Allcoin Freedom. Now, I hope you guys are big as travel fans as I am. And if you are, then looking at this picture right now, we're looking at Caprum Austria. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if I've said that wrong, guys, if you're from Austria, but this is Caprun Austria. Looks like a beautiful place. I could definitely spend some time in the future when I cash out some of my TRX Tron profit. Now, let me know, guys, if you're from Austria, let us know in the comments below some great places we can see. We should check out if we ever get over there. Or if you've been to Austria, let me know how it was, what you thought of your trip or vacation or work, whatever you were doing there. Now, in this video, guys, we're going to talk about the Tron Virtual Machine. We know the upgraded TVM launch is coming out on the 30th of July. We have the secret project coming up, a lot of news about Tron. Coming up, good things, right? Good news articles but and good news pieces, but a lot of people worried about the price not moving. Okay, so we should also mention that Bitcoin's been going up, right? The Bitcoin dominance is going up. So a lot of money is coming out of these alts into Bitcoin. And who are these people maybe that are dumping some money out of Tron? I would like to know, are you ever going to move any of your Tron position into Bitcoin to take advantage of this little run? And Bitcoin we'll see pretty soon with the ETF coming out and a lot of institutional money coming into Bitcoin. That will be the first one. The first um, crypto they put their money into. So are you, or are you going to hang on to your Tron? I, me personally, I'm going to hang on to my Tron, and maybe if um, the price does go a little lower, get a bigger position in it. So let me know what you're thinking about your TRX, there, guys. Now we know July 30th, we're going to get this upgraded version of the Tron virtual machine. And it's going to have improved accessibility and security in order to improve the whole efficiency in developing smart contracts. Now, we know the other one, the test net was out on the 25th of May. Um, people said it worked good. It was good. Now we're going to get the full main net. Okay, so that's excellent. And this is going to basically, be, basically guys, be the middle layer that's going to accommodate the virtual machines and bring over a lot of applications from the Ethereum and even ones later on subsequently that might be thinking about EOS. So what is the Tron virtual machine, guys? If you don't know, a lot of people don't even know what this virtual machine is. What it is, it's a program that's going to work as a virtual computer and it can run on an operating system of the host and just basically it prevents virtual hardware to like other operating systems, okay? But the thing about the Tron virtual machine virtual machine guys it's very lightweight okay and we won't get into all the technical specifications of it and things that my friends like some of these crypto enthusiasts i hang around daily talk about they get really involved a lot of them are very techy techy guys but the biggest thing we need to know about this tron virtual machine and how it's going to help the ecosystem why it was developed specifically to help developers um, you know with custom built blockchain systems is this um, platform guys it's going to be efficient for the developers, convenient, stable, it's going to be more secure. And But the best thing, guys, it's going to be scalable, is which is a big problem Ethereum had, okay? So they're working on it. They are fixing it. And that will be great as well in the future. I also have a position in Ethereum. But Tron TRX, guys, this platform, they're talking about the scalable issues. It's going to be great. Now, the differences are the Ethereum virtual machine kind of centered on just providing security and executing this untrusted code by computers all over the world, okay? So that was one thing, but we know they got into scalability issues. Now, you know, but they enjoyed the run of all the ICOs, you know, they had the first mover's advantage, you know. So Ethereum did so amazing in 2017 with all these ICOs coming out. And it's going to be spread around a little more now, right, with some of these other platforms coming out, EOS in the future, hopefully Cardano, if you guys are big Cardano investors, and Tron. In the, in the meanwhile, right now, Tron is the one capturing the, all, of the, all of the publicity right now is on Tron, okay, and TRX. So good things coming out for Tron TRX, and this virtual machine will help bring a lot of developers and a lot of dApps over from the Ethereum network. So so basically, with all this news coming out, guys, the big debate right now about Tron is we have the secret project coming out, we have the virtual machine coming out, but the big debate is what's happening with the price. Okay, so we know Bitcoin's getting a little pumped right now. Okay, the money's coming into Bitcoin, the institutional money will be coming into Bitcoin first, but a lot of people right now are saying, hey, well, what's going on with the Tron price? Okay. Now, with the good news of virtual machine, why is TRX sliding down right now? A lot of other people are saying, you know, the price is still going down and down and down, even though Bitcoin is doing great at the moment. Again, some people are taking profits from their alts, guys, and pivoting them into Bitcoin. So maybe that's something you're doing. You can let us know in the comments below. Are you taking any money out of Tron right now and putting it, putting it into Bitcoin? Are you one of those people? Or... You know, maybe you're holding on to your Tron. You're going to weather it right all the way out there. But a lot of people are saying some people are dumping Tron um, and a lot of other people are holding on to it. So let me know in the comments below, guys, right now, if you're 
dumping some Tron right now and getting into Bitcoin? Putting Are you moving some money from your alts into Bitcoin to capitalize on that? And maybe you're going to come back to Tron and scoop it up at a better position if it keeps going down? Or are you just in a position right now where you want to buy up some more Tron and increase your positions because you're seeing some good prices right now? Or are you holding on to Tron and you're not moving any money out of your alts? So let me know in the comments below, guys. I'd be interested in, to know what you're doing. I personally am going to hold on to the Tron I have, my TRX I have. And maybe if the prices, you know, stay around where they are, if I get a position and a possibility, if, I'm, if I have a possibility to increase my position, I will pick up some more TRX. And, and if they dip a little lower, I'll get even more. So I believe in TRX for the future, right, for the long term. So that's what my plan right now. But I do have some money in some other alts that maybe I would consider maybe pivoting into Bitcoin to capitalize on this movement we're going to have in Bitcoin in the next little while and then take some of that capital back into TRX, maybe or back into some of those projects that I pivoted out of. But let me know in the comments below, guys. And now, if you've seen the videos, if you've watched our channel quite often, if you're um, you know, a subscriber of our channel, then you can sign off. That's it for us in this video, guys. But if you're new to crypto, let us give you a little crypto tip that we're always giving on our channel. We're pushing a real safety movement. We don't need any more people losing their crypto. I have too many friends who lost a lot of crypto. I don't want to see any more new people into crypto lose anything. So here's a little safety tip that can secure your crypto for you and your family. The most important thing you can do right now, if you haven't done it, guys, and this will help you first, and then help the old crypto, the whole crypto space in general. You'll be a big solution to that as well. Let's let's one person at a time. So in all these videos, one person at a time. I hope we always reach one person, at least one person. Get yourself an offline hardware wallet and secure your crypto. Okay, because you don't want to be another person who lost their crypto to all those hacks, the billions of dollars we've lost, the billions and billions. So it's gonna it's gonna be crazier in the future, guys. As crypto gets even more popular, right? There's gonna be more hacks, more things going on, more people looking and searching for people's crypto. So just be smart. Get that hardware wallet. It's such, it's such an unbelievably good investment and a small price to pay if you're investing hundreds or thousands of dollars. You can secure it for the future because these prices of these projects today, guys, in a couple of years, you're not going to want to have lost those coins, okay? And not been able to capitalize on all that wealth you've built up over the years. I have some friends, like we said in other videos, who back in the day when it wasn't so easy to secure your crypto have lost crypto, okay? And when they see the prices of those coins today, it's just gut-wrenching. So don't, don't be another victim. And that's why this message is important, guys. And if you have family or friends that are new to crypto or anyone at work you're telling about crypto or you have some new crypto uh, family uh, enthusiasts there that are trying to get on the bandwagon with you about crypto and they're interested, try to educate them too about right off the bat. I always like to do that too. Is I've actually, some of my friends and family, you know, I've given the hardware wallets to them if I've ever helped them get into crypto just so they start off very safe right off the bat. And I personally, I like to use two hardware wallets. So some of you have been mentioning that you use two or three as well. Like, you know, I have one for long term a hold my coins and crypto I'm not going to touch for a while it's safe put away in a safe place nothing will ever happen to that and I keep a hardware wallet with me because I like to use that every day to make some you know trades and different things I want to do with that so you guys can do that too but just make sure your family or friends and you particularly are safe with your crypto guys and educate everybody you can because that'll help us when the whole crypto space is safer there's less stories about people losing crypto the outside people will feel more safer right investing in crypto and the market cap will go up for all of us and our prices will go up in our projects, so it's a win-win. But just don't wait till it's too late, guys, because a lot of people, you know, I have friends too that think, oh, someday I'll, you know, someday I'll get on that. But, you know, you never know what day you're going to check out your exchange or your online wallets there on your computer and see nothing in them. So don't, don't wait until it's too late. Protect them. And you have to get them. A lot of people don't know, guys. You have to get your hardware wallets from the manufacturer. Don't, don't be another one of those victims. And you hear the horror stories of people trying to get them on eBay or other websites where they've been tampered with and you lose your crypto as soon as you use your offline hardware wallet. So only get them from the manufacturer. Manufacturer. And if you don't know where um, to make it really easy, we put a link in the description below. So you can just go check it out anyway, see, um, see what it's all about and grab one of those hardware wallets for yourself and protect your crypto. It's definitely in this bearish market now and just in general in any market is probably the best investment you can make because none of these prices matter in the future if you lose your crypto. Okay, so just get it safe for yourself so you can sleep good at night. All right, guys, if you could give the video a like, I always appreciate that. You guys are helping us out a lot with our videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't so you don't miss any of our videos as they come out. You might find out 
in the next couple of days some projects we're talking about that you're interested in too or you might learn about one you want to check out and also it's a great way if you're subscribed you can contact us and get in touch with any questions and we can stay in touch really easy that way so that's a great thing too guys and i hope you have a great day the rest of the day wherever you are around the world and let me know where you are too because I hopefully maybe i could send some messages out to some of you guys who are subscribed when we hit the road and we can meet up for some coffee or lunch sometime and talk crypto in your city okay guys take care and i will see you soon bye bye